Yet a little while. You mean like three and a half days? You mean like on a Sabbath morning? You mean like the Sabbath morning where God withdraws from Israel and gives them two and a half days to figure out what they're going to do according to Hosea 9, 5, starting on a Sabbath on a Moed? Sabbath morning on the 21st? Next Sabbath is the 21st. It's perfect. And three and a half days later on Tuesday night is the 24th, which, by the way, makes the day of the Lord perfectly, perfectly Christ's day, the day when he became our Savior. And so Tuesday night is maintained, just like the Last Supper was a Tuesday night. Now, if you're following all that, in other words, the 21st of this month, which is next Sabbath, 10 days away, not quite 10, the 21st begins the Great Tribulation for yet a little while, and it matches uh, Psalm 37 and verse 10. It matches it, and it matches Isaiah 29, 14. Yet a little while, and Lebanon will be a fertile field. So there's a three and a half day period that God carefully depicts as starting on the 24th. And it ends at the end on the 21st, I'm sorry. And it ends when the 24th does. And a new month arrives. So all Sabbath points, all of them, the disciples said, you're going to do it this Sabbath? All of it fits. Colossians 2. A new moon and two Sabbaths. A new moon and two weeks. Seventh and fourteenth. Longer than we thought. We needed patience.